was the clubhouse used to be here. Now it's a garden. It's a and you have, uh, what do you have? I have grapes, pears, plums, cherries, figs. What did he say? What? You can visit for 50 cents. Basil. Oregano. Wow. And Paul de Marijuana. Oh, look at this. 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 Oh, look at how they brought it, and this was like, it was not only just a way of like having fresh food, I mean, it was, there were economic reasons to it, but there was also because in those days, at that time, like after the war, many fruits and vegetables, many vegetables that we used to eat were not available. Right? Mike, your father worked at Stonewalls, he must have, he must have started bringing in stuff also there, right? That was Italian? Yeah, because at the, at the beginning there wasn't any. This is what the street looked like yep. before. The street. Yeah, that's how I felt. Let me see. I know, because I was holding on. No, it's my fault. I held on to the cover. This is what it used to look like. Now I'm going to show you. Um, well, it's the Rosso. Yeah. What is this It's 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 for uh, the stock of that store there, the Cayuette. Okay. This is this is like right here. We're like from across the street. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <it's very bad. laughs> Let me see. Come over there. Come over there. Don't laugh at me. I didn't dress myself. Her mother okay. Dress this. Yeah. She's still good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a little march. You guys got a coffee? Oh, yeah. they already got a coffee. Man, I don't waste time. I love you. The bars in Villa might have changed um, over time. Now, at the beginning, in the 1920s, after the First World War, there weren't any bars. Like, at the corner of Hertu and Jolliker used to be just a, a building, and people used to go and play barche or the used to play cards, okay? Now, bars are where the Italian men would socialize. Women would socialize in homes, at the church, uh, functions, but the men had these great public spaces that they could go to that the women didn't go to in those days. Escape, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Now, bars were also, often they were uh, according to regional lines from where they came from Italy. So this bar originally used to be across the street. It was an Albanian bar. Well, Albanian, I mean, they, there's a part of Italy that they speak Albanian. That's where the parents of my mother's from. So we say we're Albanian. But we're Italian, but we're, anyways, it's a long story. <laughs> It's like names, we don't use our names. Anyways, so the bar used to be over there, then it moved over here. Albert's, oh, I got a great picture of Albert in the bar. Um, Albert grew up in this bar, as you could tell from his personality. His, I mean, it's a good thing or a bad thing? Great picture. Ten years old in the bar. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, you have to start at some point. Okay? Oh, here we go. Okay. This is... Or the, Here's a picture. This is Albert at the bar with his parents. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, you didn't even have to go outside, right? Because you had the door from upstairs that used to be able to go inside. It was like my playpen. Yeah, this was his playpen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And the thing didn't actually give out coke. It gave out beer, right? Yeah. Everything was. Like, but they were really, really social. They were really important these places. Why? Because, again, remember like Monk Boulevard, these were places where men used to come to find work. They were found themselves outside of their paese. They needed to reconnect. It was a place where they could come and have a real cup of coffee. 
right? Because they weren't used to the Canadian coffee. So they used to be able to come to the bar to have, to have a coffee, to meet people, <laughs> to get to know the neighborhood, to find a job, for help. Do you know somebody? Do you, do you know somebody who can help me build a house, right? Renovations. 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 To this plumber, day. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know what, right? To this day. You come to this bar, this is where Any I find bar. my plumber, my, my plumber, electrician, a carpenter, a carpenter a lawyer, any trade, any, any trade you need. I don't use the yellow pages. This is the yellow pages. This is Angela. He's the own, one of the owners of the bar. Correct. So these these bars served a real important social function in terms of connecting people. Now, as much as it was good because it helped people get on their feet, it also ghettoized people because they felt so comfortable, right? That they didn't need to expand and to go out. And when you think of a neighborhood like Villa Mart, okay. We were kind of, it's not like in other neighborhoods. We had the forest, the woods on that side, which was LaSalle. Okay, we had industry on this side. We had the canal on this side, and there was industry on there. So we were really like physically contained. It wasn't like you, like in Mile End, you go down the street and you're on Park Avenue and you're downtown. This, we were physically contained. And in the old days, transportation wasn't the way it was. Like there were hardly any cars on the street, right? We didn't have cars. So we didn't really move around. We were very ghettoized in terms of that. So these bars get a wise people, okay? They serve the purpose, they serve a very important purpose. And um, today, they're also meeting places for people to come back because it's the kind of place you can come back to where you could just sort of pick up the conversation where you last left it off. You can reconnect with people from your past. And um, with, I, I love this place because they don't sell decaf and it's not, it's not, it hasn't been gentrified. And that's what makes it kind of uh, an authentic bar for me, anyways. Okay. I have so, a, a question. Yeah. Was it um, Italians from uh, certain uh, certain region or regions that would settle yeah. in? Yeah, most of the Italians that settled here were from the south. South, like yeah, Calabria. Yeah, Calabria, Campobasso. Um, in fact, Naples. Yeah. In fact, they were so concentrated that you, if you look at old directories, you could see on one block. Okay, how many people lived, and they were all like from like one paez practically, one village. They they all, they they reformed their communities here. They, and one of the other things about the bars I was going to tell you, I'm not going to forget, is that in the old days, in the 50s, Italians used to walk. See, this is what the Luzanza, right? In Italy, what do you do? You have your coffee, you eat, and then you go and you walk. You walk and you talk. You walk and you talk. You go to the bar, you have a coffee, and like Albert says. These Italians will spend $1.75 a day and they'll spend it for the rest of their life. They won't even give you a tip, but they're loyal. They're loyal, okay? For the next until they die, they're gonna come in here every day and they're gonna spend $1.75 every day. Maybe you'll get a 25 cent tip, maybe, right? And that's it, but they're loyal. But these places were places where people had to meet. So what used to happen in the late 50s is the police did not like seeing Italians standing outside, the men. They were afraid of them. Okay. One of the most common things that everybody used to tell me was that the police used to say, circule, circule. What they used to do is that if the guys were outside, like, you know, these guys, we stand outside, we have a talk, you have a smoke, you have a coffee. Circule. What? Circule. Eh? They would arrest them. They would tell them, you either go inside the bar or you come with us. They would bring them to the police station on Monk, where it was next to the library that Tanina used to attend religiously. <laughs> the library books. And, uh, and then they would make them pay a $50 fine to get out. Now, you can imagine the Italians at that time. They didn't go to taverns. The French were going to the taverns. The Italians just walked. Okay, so they were thinking like, well, here I'm doing such an honorable activity. I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm having a conversation, talking about soccer, and I'm arrested for this. What kind of a country did I immigrate to? And when you think about it today, that's exactly what Villa Mart needs. Okay, that's what we don't have is the walking and talking. And that's what made this, the neighborhood safe. That's exactly what we need. And sometimes the cops wouldn't even call the wife. So, yeah, the cops wouldn't even call the wife, so the, 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 at home they would be like, where's my husband, where's my husband? And, and then the next day he would come out. It was a way of making 50 bucks and cracking down on immigrants. Was hanging out in the park with No.